Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to apply a word wrap effect when drawing strings in WinForms. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to override on paint of course. And then I'm going to define a rectangle. So rectangle rect is equal to new rectangle. This is sort of the bounding rectangle for our string. And it's going to be at 10 by 10. And the width is going to be 200 by 200. OK, so first we're just going to draw the bounding rectangle so you can see it. And I'm going to use fill rectangle. And we will draw saddle brown okay so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use rect.inflate to shrink the rectangle centered so we'll do negative 10 negative 10 and this will adjust the rectangle and will shrink it centered so that we actually have some padding for our text. It actually um, doesn't return the rectangle, it modifies the rectangle directly for some reason. So we're going to use e to graphics draw string. And I'm going to copy some text here. and define this as a verbatim string. Okay, so we have our text, that's what we're going to draw. And we're going to use the forms font and pick a brush. We can use pink. And then we're going to specify our rectangle. So there's our text. Um, it will clip your text like you see here if it's outside the bounding box. So it does wrap your words and it will also clip the text if it has to. So while we're doing this, we might as well see if this works with a vertical flag. So we're going to specify a string format. We're going to call it format. And in the string format constructor, there's an overload to accept string format flags. And we're going to specify string format flags direction vertical. And we'll put that after the rect in draw string. And there you have vertical text.